بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about the necessity of people coming to uh, determination for their own well-being. In other words, taking some steps that are necessary to preserve themselves and their families. There is a position of the muhaddith Sheikh Ahmed Sheikh Shakir. Uh, in the book called Nidham al-Talaq. And in Nidham al-Talaq, he deviates from the position of the majority with regard to divorce. And he says that just as you find that when you are going to get married, that you need minimum two witnesses, the same thing goes for the divorce. That a divorce is not valid unless you have two witnesses uh, that are basically seeing what's going on and they're acknowledging that that divorce took place. And I'm not going to go into this with a lot of detail, but I'm going to say that the amount of cases that I'm seeing are too many. And so the, the, this is a, a deviation for where the majority is at. And, and you're going to find a lot of imams are going to have a lot of stuff to say. But the reality is that I personally am not concerned with what other people are seeing. Uh, with regard to how they apply their fiqh and how they deal with situations. We are seeing people are under duress, mental health issues. They're under stress. They have economic issues. They have health issues. The, the situation is compounded. So it's only natural that in these types of circumstances, people are going to come to a point where the decision making that they, under, that they basically undertake is not going to be of sound thinking. And, you know, that's my advice to people is to, you know, go with the position of Sheikh Ahmed Sherkar. Uh It's a minority position. I know that it's a minority position, but I think it has a lot of value with regard to preservation of the family. And, and that issue comes back to, you know, that divorce in these cases is not valid, you know, un unless you have two witnesses. And. Some people are playing with the concept. And, you know, for those, you, you have to really weigh that out. But those who really are in the situation that they're under pressure, they don't know how to think through things properly, and, you know, the situation is chaotic. But that's my advice, you know, that you go with that minority opinion and that, you know, no divorce is valid unless there's two witnesses. And then you leave it at that, unless there's, like, domestic violence or anything other than that. And I say that is be I say that because a lot of you personally I see that you're not thinking straight. You know, a lot a lot of a lot of you you you're coming to the table, you're destroying whatever is there, and then you come, you cry to the Mashiach, you cry to the Imams that a divorce took place and the advice is given, uh people don't want intervention. So as long as you're in that madness of a situation, you know that you need to get your heads on straight. And you need to realize that if you destroy your families, nobody's going to help you in that situation except yourself. Nobody's going to sit there and walk with you through that process, you know, uh, step by step as you go through that suffering that you impose upon yourself. So, you know, you might as well take a position that's beneficial to you, you know, and, and until things become clear. And that's what I say that, you know, the position of Sheikh Ahmed Shakir is very valid under these circumstances. And I, I promoted it before I had presented it to the Council of Imams and Scholars in the, in the UK as, a, as an alternative. This position was not presented just by Sheikh Ahmed Shakir. It was also presented in Egypt at some point in time because there were 30,000 divorces a year. And it was based on a lot of circumstances of, that people were going through. And so I say the same thing here, you know, that the opinion has some weight to it. It has some weight from the angle of preservation of the family. Now, if there is domestic violence and other issues which come into play, which really jeopardize safety and health and so on and so forth, then I don't advise that position. But under the general circumstances where people are just not thinking straight and so on and so forth, I think it's a very valid position and uh, that's my advice to people. You know, the, there is a lot of situations here in which people are going under hardship and the rest, and it complicates the issues. You know, so let's keep it simple, people. You know, there's a lot of people that are going through suicidal issues, 
They're going through depression. They're going through a lot of issues. We don't need to keep compounding uh, divorces because people are not calculating issues straight. Right. And so that's what I say. Protect yourselves. You know, and one of the ways to do it from an, an Islamic angle is that you don't acknowledge the divorce unless there are two witnesses. You formalize it a little bit. That should give you enough time to think through things. And if it happens, it happens. But, uh, you know, I end on that note. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah.